Well, hello there. Um, here we are again. <laughs> we keep plugging on this thing. We're getting closer and closer to the finish line of this whole homeschooling thing. But this would be week two of the assignments that you guys are actually expected to do for grades and such. So, um, interesting times. Last week we looked at the 1920s. And at the end of the 1920s, all of a sudden you have this thing start called the Great Depression. And it's going to lead all the way through the 1930s in the United States. And um, it's a fascinating time in our history. And it really leads the foundation of what we have today in our lives. You know, what's going on. And I mean, like, really what we have today. Um, so i got a couple assignments for you. The first one is uh, kind of like what you did last week. It's on the origins of the Great Depression. You got a reading and some things to answer along those lines. And then after that, you have another one that's called Living Experiences of the Great Depression. And it kind of tells you about all the different things that were going on. Um, man, I could go on for this thing forever and ever. But the one thing I don't have along those lines that I'd really like to hit on today and talk about is this guy FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who ends up getting elected. Um, this man comes in and he's really the first king of the United States in a lot of ways. The guy gets elected for four terms. They even pass an amendment to make sure that that never happens again after his death. But um, he gets elected because the country saw the Republicans as just not doing a good job. And so he comes in, and he's an interesting man. He's a pragmatist. And a pragmatist is a person that looks at a situation and then doesn't necessarily have a game plan of exactly what he's going to do, but he's going to try different things to see what's going to work. And he tries some different things in the United States that are going to kind of change a lot of stuff that we have. Um... The big things that he ends up coming up with are the first and second New Deal. And these New Deals come from a speech that he ended up making saying, we got to do some things to help our people. And um, the first New Deal had three different parts. First was relief. You know, how can we help individuals right now in what's going on? We've got lots and lots of people that are lost their job. 25% of the people in the United States lost their job during the Great Depression. I mean, it was a huge hit, and they didn't see any way out of it. And so this relief was to help those people right now with money or creating jobs or other things. The other one was recovery. These were things that they wanted to do to make sure that they ended the Depression. Whether or not those things worked was kind of debated to this day. And then the last one was reform. It's to try to make sure that we're never going to be in the same situation ever, ever again. Now, um, the second New Deal he comes out with, after it really, uh, whether it's worked or not, is kind of questionable, actually is going to be giving us something that your parents count on and your grandparents live on. And that's Social Security and a couple other things that go out and it forces people to save money. That's why you guys that have jobs get really pissed off because you go in and you get your paycheck and you go, oh my gosh, there's this big chunk of money that's been taken away from me. Well, the idea is that's been put away into Social Security and somewhere down the road, you guys are going to be able to get to that money and it's going to come to you in Social Security. Um, lots of things could be discussed about that, and you're going to get to that when you get to government next year. But um, what FDR did with these New Deals is really, really revolutionary. Nobody had ever thought of doing that kind of stuff before. Before the Great Depression, all the way through American history, the government was not seen as a place that would bail people out if there was hard times. The government was out there to put rules out, to protect us in war and and come up with ways of being able to live and help each other out but it wasn't there as a way to get us out of hard times that's what we're supposed to do just as Americans but with this idea of relief 
they ended up doing some really, really interesting, interesting things. One of them was in this new deal was this idea of relief stuff, which was called the CCC, which was the Civilian Conservation Corps. Now, I inherited a cabin from my father just a couple of years ago after he died. And it's out in the middle of nowhere in south central Idaho. A beautiful, beautiful place called Warm Lake. And I love it there. And um, back during the Great Depression, they actually had this thing of the Civilian Conservation Corps. These guys went out into the middle of nowhere in Idaho where there's a really, really beautiful hot springs not too far away from where my cabin is. And they built a swimming pool. And here's one of the pictures of it. I mean, it's literally out in the no middle of nowhere. And they built this really nice swimming pool. And people would drive for miles to get to this swimming pool and go swimming because it had natural hot water in it. And it was really, really a neat little place. But why? <laughs> I mean, why would you build a swimming pool out in the middle of nowhere? Well, FDR's idea with the Civilian Conservation Corps was we got to get these people to work. We got to get them doing something. We've got to get them having a positive attitude and doing things. And so this CCC thing was created to give young people jobs. High schools, as a matter of fact, became a new thing during this time. As you read in one of the assignments in the 1920s, this teenager thing had just been created. Nobody thought about teenagers before. You were all just young adults. But suddenly, with the Great Depression, all these kids got fired. They were working. Teenagers your age, were at, they had jobs. A vast majority of them had jobs. But they were fired because, well... They're taking up the work spots of an adult that needs a job. Why are we doing this? So they laid off all these kids. Well, the kids went back to school and they went to high school, which a majority of people didn't graduate from back in the day. And at the worst possible time, we had to come up with this whole education thing for all these kids that would have been employed up to this time. The government was seen as a thing that should be now, with FDR, this thing that should be taking care of us. Man, I can't think of a more relevant situation than right now. I mean, all of a sudden this COVID thing comes in and it's nailing all these people. We got all these people unemployed. And the government says, hey, I got an idea. Let's send them all checks. We're going to give them unemployment insurance, unemployment pay for not being working. And then we're going to give them $600 a week on top of that. My daughter got laid off from her job. She was working at a Y down in Boise, working hard, loving her job. But they forced the Ys to be closed. So she doesn't have any money. But suddenly she's making all this money from the government. Is it really the government's responsibility? to make these people and give them money? Well, starting with the depression, I guess it is. And it's kind of leads to an interesting thing because man, that never would have been done before. But now once we get something, as humans, we tend to expect it from now on out. That not only is it something that helps me out now, but it's something that I deserve, and you better be taking care of me. So, so you got the two assignments that I've already talked about, but I've got this last one, which is, what do you think of this idea of the government helping us out? I mean, there really isn't a right, wrong answer on this. This is your opinion, but I want you to write a couple paragraphs on what do you think the government's role is when it comes to hard times. Should we be creating jobs? Should we be giving out money? I mean, the government's in debt right now, even before they started handing out these huge checks. Should we 
be doing that. But then again, I've got friends and I've got a daughter who they need to have money. Because my daughter doesn't live with me. She's all the way down in Boise. She got rent. She's got other things. I don't know. It's an interesting situation. So, I want you to write down, what do you think the government's responsibility is? And just, you know, write a couple, you know, a couple sentences. You know, I don't want two, you lazy dorks. I want you to write for a little while. Give me some meat in this thing. So those are your three assignments. And make sure you get them done by 101 on Monday morning. And uh, I'll be taking a look at those things. You'll be informing me. So, I sure miss you guys. I would much rather be in front of you than sitting, well, I don't know. Kind of like being in my yard right now. But I miss you guys a hell of a lot. Love you. Take care.